dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress! Look who it is! Hi, everyone! Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. It wasn't easy. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. 
I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent. And flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! Shucks! My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Oh, you still have to put in some effort. <laughs> if you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? Oh, mm -hmm. got it! Thanks a million! <laughs> Don't mention it. Is Knott's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course! We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row! Those plates won't clear themselves. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing! Thanks! Those yoga lessons really paid off. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. I better take these plates back to the service window. Excuse me, can I borrow you? What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a coffee from the back. Better not crease any pages. Anthony, your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. The boatyard is this way! You better hurry! Go through the boatyard! It's the shortest route! This was my moment. 
My chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. I was leaving my old life behind, like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. less handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's voice. There's only one way to deal with monsters. Don't get between me and my writer. be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. There was only one way to deal with monsters.
motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. More haters! writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother <sighs> he must be waiting until our third or fourth date surrounded by candles so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past <sighs> oh, that man has more layers than a croissant My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that I... 
No. I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. But I love you because you're sensitive. Just hold on. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside! I'm here! I've come to save you! Oh, joy! We can finally be together and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. The twin said he was down at the beach. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd, Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. What did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed by success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, wh well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You're rude, you have no manners, your too-cool-to-care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You... No, stop! I don't like being seen! Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! Why did he trick me? Even with my famously keen perception.
I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise, and just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs>
gun's hungry. Finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair. But mostly, that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things, too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. to kiss himself. I mean, save himself.
our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. He needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you. But there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That's why they took my brother and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. You think something here's important? What, the numbers? I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right? Hello? Is anybody here? A roasting bar. 
This place really makes me want a coffee. But I guess that's the point. What the fuck are those? Gazebo? You think there's something there? Ma'am! Here! Get inside the light! Oh, they don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit. A cop. Should I lie? I... kinda let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? What's going on here? What are those shadow people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. Turning people into coffee monsters. The government? Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. Something in the coffee is doing this? Really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. 
There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. This should make things easier. Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. You still with me? Good to hear. need a welcome center no tape i don't have time to sit around watching movies anyway This must be the warehouse, but how do I get inside? Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Please insert passkey. Sorry, I lost it. Please insert passkey. Oh, fucking machine. Passkey invalid. Do you submit to security questions for authorization? Sure. What's the question? Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement. As seen in our orientation. What kind of question is that? That is incorrect. Guess we need to find that orientation video.
me inside the fucking building. Probably shouldn't drink any strange coffee. Sheriff said not to drink this stuff.
I'm glad to see you're okay. A videotape was missing from the Welcome Center. I think the password I need is on it. You haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I've seen it. But that tape is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit and it... It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. You can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hid it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. up for a movie? Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation, and eventually the globe, with our out-of-this-world beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Triangle movement. The company's mission statement is simple. To drink the truth there. is to become That's what we need. one. Password Our is truth. And spiritual now we can go in. Hey, what humanity. is... Something Soon is... Everyone will come. Come. Something, Something is... Oh, in my head. Please, you need to drink. got what we needed. The fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Let's get back to that warehouse. That video was doing something to me. If you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? But why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement, as seen in our orientation video. Truth. That is correct. Further verification required. Please recite the Four 
187. That is correct. Further verification required. Oh, come on! Try the coffee. I tried the coffee. Worth a shot. Try the coffee. That's gonna be a problem. But I can't stop now. You'll keep me safe. Right? I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Looks completely normal. Here goes nothing. I'm trusting you. Huh. That wasn't so. <gasps> Definitely something wrong with this coffee. I knew I could count on you. Are you all right, Sheriff? I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen, I figured something out. What did you figure out? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> but it, it's not just the government. There's something else here. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm... Tried the coffee. People out or in?
Desolation. What the fuck are those things? Key. Probably worth holding on to. Sheriff, how'd you get in here? Coffee time is family time. It's the it's best, best part of the day. Hey, snap out of it. Coffee solves all your problems. It lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy. Fuck. I'm so sorry, Sheriff. to find my brother. He has to be okay. <sighs> what the hell? Have you ever seen anything like this? within the conspiracy. How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our 
wildest imagination. Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Night Springs? We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality? but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Tonight's reality bending episode, Timebreaker. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. And I will come back for you. My love. Take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean. I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop door. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. So the vortex and the gadget. I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. 
You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year us talking is part of the video game and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere your character, the agent, is real and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man, totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. No, this is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized... Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no
I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? There. Just like in the video game. to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get out of here. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. 
I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was gonna run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time, when what I needed was there. same warning sign as before it made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling something to do with door a luma vista tv i just needed energy to power it i couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me the one native to this reality? Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. Kasvo polkulohduton. 
led to the same lava, but in different times. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. been here before. No one a Poison Pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then, maybe Poison Pill didn't even exist in this reality. I was in a comic book. Funny.
When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. She knew things. If I could find my way to her, she could help. It's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. I thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the Vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game on the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real? Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real many versions of us all in hidden interaction linked by the energies that ripple through realities one of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy and another one instead gains superpowers and yet another one meets an alien guardian angel and one reality we're not even real or as you say characters in a video game why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him. Gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. 
He sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. Bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Turn your lives. Pain apart. The master of many worlds. We came through. dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, Tor. The master of many worlds.
deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. I had to find door or the means to travel on. I was close. I knew I was close now.
We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host, the one and only Warland Boar, and this is Night Springs.
Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad. <laughs>